Scientists have discovered the secret to immortality. Turns out all you have to do is be a jellyfish. Hey guys, Tara here for DNews with yet more reason we should be terrified of the ocean and everything in it. In 1988, scientists uncovered a species of jellyfish called Turritopsis dorni that can reverse its aging process, effectively making it immortal. Researchers now studying it to see how exactly it can do this in hopes that someday we might be able to do the same. The immortal jellyfish, as people are calling it, stays alive by regenerating into a polyp, which is its earliest stage of life, as it ages or whenever it experiences illness or trauma. It then spends three Three days doing that, after which it eventually becomes an adult again. This is one of the only known animals on Earth capable of evading death in this manner, but they are notoriously hard to study in captivity. To keep them alive in a laboratory environment, they have to be continuously monitored, which is exactly what one scientist at Kyoto University has been doing. Shin Kubota has devoted his life to studying these creatures, and he's managed to keep an entire colony of them alive in his lab, which requires an intense amount of dedication. He frequently changes their water, feeds them tiny little by hand, and the best part? He writes karaoke songs about the jellyfish, which he then performs wearing a jellyfish hat after he's finished his research for the day. He's become so famous for doing this that he's basically become the Japanese equivalent of Bill Nye the Science Guy. He regularly appears on national television in Japan, and his songs are available in karaoke machines all over the country. Fame aside, though, his primary concern is still studying the immortal jellyfish. He says out of all the animals in the world, only they are able to reverse the aging process instead of dying. And as such, it's impossible to determine their lifespan. According to him, they might live forever. What's interesting is that even though the jellyfish are extremely primitive, they share more genetic data with humans than they do with insects or worms, which means if we can figure out how they're able to reverse their aging process, then theoretically, that knowledge could be applied to humans. Naturally, some scientists are skeptical about that, but at the very least, Kubota hopes to be able to extend our fixed lifespan by closely studying these creatures. And he says it's only a matter of time, a few years, maybe a decade or two, before we solve the mystery of its immortality. How exciting. And hey, if you want to see more weird facts about animals, go check out Animalist's new show, Best Breed Ever. It tells you everything you want to know, and some stuff you didn't, about your favorite types of dogs. For example, did you know that two Pomeranians are called a Puff, and three Pomeranians are called a Tuft? I didn't think they could get any more adorable, but there they are. There are new episodes every Wednesday and Friday, so go check those out. And in the meantime, if you have questions, comments, anything you want to say about this episode, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.